This realization, at least for me, explains the disconnection from my own truth and the truth of this universe that has always been present any time that I experience anxiety. And remember, we all get to choose our own truth. So when I say truth, I simply mean what I believe to be true, personally. And I have a few examples of this. For example, when I was out walking, how scary and anxiety-inducing it can be to think that we are random human beings existing isolated on a massive floating planet in the middle of space, risking being hit by a meteorite in any given moment. Or the fact that an atomic bomb can be fired anytime because several countries now have access to them. That, I mean, is the anxiety part of truth. Random, extreme, and unregulated. The other truth, however, the one that I've chosen because it doesn't induce anxiety, is the fact that human beings would have been wiped out long ago if it wasn't for forces of light watching over us. We are not alone and humans have never been left to themselves. There has always been protection and guidance from the other side, the side we were on before we were born. Very few things in our lives are left to chance, even though it might seem like it. Horrible things? Yes. What if they too actually were part of the plan? What if in secret we would survive every threat and challenge as long as we ourselves were following our soul plan? What if disease was a manifestation of nudging us back into our authentic expression and that the unfoldment of events actually were in our own hands. What if we were that powerful that whatever we put our attention on with feelings manifested, that there exists countless of possible future realities and that we navigate between them through our own choices, through where we choose to put our focus and attention. Do I choose fear or do I choose fate? Do I choose being myself or pleasing others? Do I choose accepting myself or fighting myself? Do I choose blaming the world or taking responsibility? Anxiety is real and valid, but the truth is that life is always on the edge of death. And death is a transition into another dimension and far from an end. The chance of you being born is a lot smaller than for you to die. You already won. And as for the physical side of anxiety, according to Anthony William, with heavy metals in the brain and viruses, that is also a disconnection from truth. Because the truth is that those shouldn't be in our brains in the first place. Our brains were meant to be filled with trace minerals and never with toxic heavy metals. When our brains are under attack like that, it becomes hard, impossible even, to connect with our own divine truth. And our own divine truth is that we have angels whispering in our ears constantly and guidance from our highest self directly through our line. And when we are filled with toxins and misprogramming, that truth evades the anxious thoughts and feelings feel real but they are at least in my opinion not our greatest truth our truth is also that we get to rewrite our future and even our past as many times as we would like and that our own creativity is the key to peace and happiness independent on any outside cause or person as Christina von Ryan shares, every human being is equipped to create a paradise within and around themselves. Another truth that quenches anxiety is the fact that unless there's a very good reason for it, natural disaster and chaotic events won't happen. And when they do, whether you believe it or not, your own soul has most likely agreed to it long ago. You are safe protected and hella powerful. Anxiety is a disconnection from peace and peace is your nature behind heavy metals and false programming. Peace is truth and if your truth doesn't bring you peace then why don't you choose another one?